right, guys, as we're going into um, putting our newspaper together for our Civil War, Reform, and Industrial Revolution Ghosts of the Past project, um, we're going to tell you the parts that you need for your project. And this video is going to be brought to you by Miss Ringman and Miss Speak. One of the things you need to have is an index. It is located at the front of the newspaper. It shows where everything is located. It lists all the parts of the newspaper. For example, California or local news, weather, the funnies, which for you young people, those are the comics. <laughs> this also <laughs> saves people time so they don't have to search through the entire newspaper to find what they're looking for. Those of you that do not know where this is located in a book, it's, it's usually called a table of contents, and that's, that's kind of what you're doing for your newspaper. So every major newspaper is going to have a headline, and it's going to be the words printed across the top, right here. I'll see that. Um, and it's going to catch the reader's attention. It's going to be your big article um, for that day or for that week, wherever your newspaper is printed. So um, it's going to grab the reader's attention. It's going to be the main article you want them to focus on. It's, it's going to be big. The dateline, these are the words at the beginning of a news article that tell when and where the article was written. You'll need to find a historic date set around the era that you're doing your newspaper in, even though the whole newspaper will encompass more than one year. All right, one of the things that's going to be a required element is going to be a news article. You guys have already written one, so you will include your original news article that you wrote into this, and you'll have four because there'll be about four, you know, three to four in your group that you can add to the newspaper. You'll also have a feature article in a newspaper. This is a detailed report on a person, an issue, or event. So if you are doing a, the Civil War era, you could do a feature article over one of the major battles. This is pretty self-explanatory. One of you will be the editor, and that's who we will talk to because you're going to be in charge of putting it all together, making sure everything is... You're going to be a project manager for this. We will choose your groups, but you are going to get to choose your editor, so choose wisely. You want someone that's going to keep everybody on task. The editorial, this is an article in which the people who run a newspaper give their opinion on an important issue. You've already done letters to the editor, so you can put your group's letters in there. You can also do another editorial giving your opinion on an issue during one of the eras. All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about the types of article that, articles that can be included and what that will look like. Obviously, any news that you include in it, your news article, you're going to have to have a feature article, the editorials, the letters to the editor. Um, political cartoons, definitely can have that for either one of the errors. Letters to the editor, you've already done. Sports, but your sports needs to be a sport that would have happened during that time period. And Geiger has confirmed that baseball was a sport that was included. So you could, you're going to have to do a little research on that one. Um, classifieds, it's going to be um, anything if you are looking for something. Like a lot of times during the Civil War, they would post, if you're looking at number 11, lost soldiers. And, and just kind of trying to find people. Um, you may have to do a little research to find that. The way that they first published books was through the newspapers. They would put a couple of chapters, and each time a newspaper would come out, they would put a little bit more of the book. Uncle Tom's Cabin, famous book for the Civil War, that was actually published in the newspapers first. Advertisements, y'all have done those um, already, or you can add more to it. I would definitely do some research as well. I have some newspapers. Fink, Miss Fink has some newspapers for you to look at on, on what those advertisements would look at. Obituaries would have been a part of the newspaper. We're actually going to exclude that, so we're um, not wanting you guys to do that one. Lost soldiers I've already gone over. Human interest stories. So your poems that you made, looking at those pictures yesterday with the blackout poetry, you could actually take that and um, create a story about your person. And then the last but not least is you're going to have the weather. Now, a lot of them had almanacs, and it's more than just saying it's 68 degrees outside. They would talk about planting season. They would talk about what what um, crops needed to be in that. Is there anything else, Geiger, you'd like to include in the almanac? I have a copy of one in my room from 1878. So it's a little bit after the Civil War, but it, you'll get the hint of what you can include in that. What articles need to include... Who was involved in the story? What happened? When did it occur? Why it happened? How it happened? Where it happened? If you notice, these are your five W's and how.
I just wanted to make sure y'all had a graphic of what that looked like and how. There you go, guys. And we're so excited to do this. We'll spend all next week on this project where you guys will get a chance to type up what you need. You can include graphics. But because the history teachers are in on this as well, mm -hmm. everything has to be printed out. And we're actually going to make a full newspaper. No websites, technology. Mm -mm. So we'll, we'll spend next week in the lab putting this together, making sure you guys have everything. We're going to give you the rubric. You're going to have all the information you need to make a really awesome project. Remember, these newspapers will be cycled through all of the classes, and you'll get to have commentary on what, or you will have feedback on what you presented in your newspaper. Good luck.